Welcome back to another exciting video of Top Movies Recap. Today I am going to explain a 2011 American action thriller film called Enemy. The story sees two identical people running into each other and what this does to their personal lives. It's a good film, but we'll need you to think quite a bit once you've finished it. So let's dive into the story, but before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to get some interesting stuff in upcoming videos. The story takes off from Adam's perspective as the enemy movie begins. He's shown to be a teacher with a dull and repetitive life. Even the sex is shown to be repetitive. This is indicative that Anthony is censoring information from himself. He feels in control by not letting himself know that his life and work is not really flamboyant. His reality is that of a history teacher, and Mary represents mindless affairs he's having. Later, a co-worker suggests a movie to Adam. Adam says that he doesn't go out much and he doesn't like movies. The movie the co-worker suggests is Where There's a Will There's a Way. This is a movie where Anthony has a tiny little role. This suggestion of the movie is a mild awakening in the deep recesses of the mind. A small trigger that the Adam's personality is being given to understand that he's connected to Anthony. Adam watches the movie. He goes back to bed with Mary. He's aggressive with Mary in bed. There is a slight shift in Adam's personality. The subconsciousness is slowly beginning to connect with the main personality of Anthony, the assertive one. This is very subtle with Mary and he snaps right back to being Adam. She leaves. This scene with Mary is happening in the subconsciousness. She doesn't presently exist. We'll talk about why later. Adam remembers a scene in the movie where he sees someone who looks like himself. He plays the movie to confirm that one of the Bell Boys looks like him. He checks the movie credits to identify that the actor is a person by the name Daniel. Daniel is the movie name that Anthony uses for his films. Adam searches for Daniel on the internet and finds pictures. Adam uses a portion of his own photo to verify that he looks like the actor. The torn photo is one part of the photo of Anthony with his wife. Remember, this is happening in his subconsciousness. The Adam personality has repressed the existence of his wife. In the subconscious mind, Helen has been removed. This goes back to sensory information. From the internet, Adam gets the information about the talent agency that Anthony works with and notes the address down. Adam visits the agency. Anthony, as the personality Adam goes to the agency. He's greeted by the security who calls out to him as Anthony and says that he's not come by to the agency in about six months. Six months is how far along Helen is into her pregnancy. This only means that Anthony gave up on his acting career as soon as Helen conceived. He took up another job that gave a consistent income. Perhaps a teacher, perhaps not. The security hands Adam an envelope. This envelope is temptation. We'll get back to this in the end. From the envelope, Adam gets Anthony's address and phone number. He calls the phone number. Helen picks up. She hears Adam. But it's actually Anthony as Adam's personality. So she recognizes his voice and calls out to Anthony. Adam can't understand how the lady on the other side is confusing his voice with another person who looks like him. So he realizes not only does he look like this Anthony, he also sounds like him. He hangs up. Later, Adam calls Anthony. This part is in the subconsciousness. This is basically Anthony being reached out by Adam from within his subconsciousness. Adam wants to meet Anthony. We are immediately shown Anthony talking on the phone. When Helen asks him if he was lying about who was on the line, Anthony struggles to answer. Perhaps he regularly lies to her about certain phone calls. He cheats on his wife. This one time he perhaps did not, but he usually does. Hetsy stammers. Helen gets suspicious and accuses him. Later, Anthony looks up for Adam on the internet. In secret, Helen looks into Anthony's trouser pockets to locate Adam's details. She too looks up Adam. Both of them locate the university he teaches in. Next day, Anthony calls Adam saying that he wants to meet, again, a conversation with the subconsciousness. Helen lands up at the university to see Adam. She talks to Adam and is heartbroken. Observe here that Helen is not surprised, she's upset. She's seeing Anthony who appears to be acting and talking like an Adam. She begins to understand that this version of him seems to be an alternate personality kept away from home. He's compassionate and converses sweetly with Helen. He cares for her pregnancy and asks how far along she is. Helen calls Anthony's phone. Only after Adam leaves from Helen's sight does the phone get picked up. Anthony answers. This is confirmation enough for Helen that her husband has multiple personalities. This scene is not within the subconsciousness. Helen is a character outside of Anthony's mind. This scene confirms that even in real life, the Adam personality exists as a teacher. Back at home, Anthony appears back after a run. He asks for organic blueberries. Helen is upset. She later tells Anthony that she went to see that guy on the phone at his work. She says that he even had Anthony's voice. She asked Anthony, what's going on? When he says, I don't know what you were talking about, she replies with, I think you do. 
This is Helen trying to deal with the knowledge of an alternate personality to her husband's. She is not sure what to do or say. In a quick scene, we are shown a naked lady walking past. She's shown to be sexy, but has a spider's head. Again, yikes. This is a dream sequence that just emphasizes the role that the various women play in Anthony's life that makes him feel trapped in their webs. Both Anthony and Adam wake up to this. You know this because Adam wakes up alone and Anthony wakes up with Helen by his side. This bit is a little easy to miss. The point is that Adam and Anthony are getting closer to an interference now. They are getting affected by common events. Adam drives up to the location Anthony has decided for the meet. It appears to be a hotel where people show up with escorts. We see a sexy lady pass by Adam much like the spider head woman. Anthony picks this place that Adam is unaware of. Perhaps Anthony has come here for his many one night stands. Adam waits. Anthony shows up, they meet. While the hotel room might be real, the meeting is not physical. This is happening in Anthony's head. Anthony and Adam compare their looks, voice and hands. Anthony asks Adam about a scar and understands that they both are identical. The Adam personality is spooked by its surfacing to reality. Adam gives the envelope to Anthony and leaves, the envelope from the talent agency. After this, Anthony returns home and tells her that the guy won't be calling again. Helen remains fearful. Anthony follows Adam and notices Mary. She is the temptation Anthony begins to follow. He's unable to resist looking at and observing her. This is happening inside his mind. Adam goes to meet his mother. We've already covered this earlier. Just the thing to note here is that Adam doesn't like blueberries, but his mother insists that he does. Right after this, a large spider is shown walking past town. This spider is a representation of his mother. Anthony feels trapped in the web of expectations that his mother has for him. Job, work, health, etc. Anthony is practicing what he's going to say to Adam in front of a mirror. This is symbolic of facing himself given the odd situation he is in. He plans to scare the subconscious Adam into giving up Mary. He wants to give in to the temptation that Mary represents for one last time. Here's what Anthony asks Adam, did you sleep with my wife? Adam is unable to respond with a clear no. He's being intimidated. Adam's personality is doing the right thing by taking up a profession which is consistent with the upcoming responsibilities of a baby. Adam needs to be the one with Helen, not Anthony. Anthony wants to have one last fling with the temptation Mary and then leave forever. Anthony poses as Adam and leaves with Mary inside the subconsciousness. Adam goes home to Helen in real life. When at his house, the building guy meets and lets him into his house. On the way to the apartment, they have a word about a new set of keys to the sex club. This man was in the club in the first scene too. Like Anthony, this man too indulges in other women. Adam, however, doesn't know him, only Anthony does. Adam's personality is coming to Anthony's house for the first time. He doesn't know which door is the one to his house. The maintenance guy lets him in. Inside the house, Adam changes to Anthony's clothes. He notices his picture with Helen, the complete one. Adam's personality is slowly taking over in real life. Anthony is moving deeper into the mine and is with Mary in a subconscious hotel room. Adam is being nice to Helen. She probably feels the way she once felt when she first met Anthony before his cheating started. She suspects that the person who's in her bedroom is actually the history teacher because of his mannerisms, and he brings up that she is six months of pregnancy. She asks him to come to bed. He does. She looks at him longingly. Then she asks, did you have a good day at school? This confirms that Helen knows which personality she's with. In the subconsciousness, Mary notices that she's not with Adam. She sees the ray mark on his finger. She's freaking out. Anthony tries to calm her down. Adam wakes up in real life and goes into to the living room. Inside his mind, Mary is angry with Anthony and the two leave the hotel. They're driving back. Adam is slowing beginning to recollect all the affairs he's had as Anthony. He's crying. He apologizes to Helen. In his subconsciousness, Anthony and Mary begin to fight in the car. Mary is annoyed that Adam is not with her. In real life, Helen tells Adam, I want you to stay. Helen and Adam begin to make love. Mary tells Anthony he's not a man. Anthony gets pissed off and as he asks Mary to get out from the car, it swerves and crashes fatally. Mary and Anthony are presumed to be killed off in the subconsciousness. Adam is free of his temptation, Mary, and the part of him that gets tempted easily, Anthony. As we see a close-up of the crash car, we see the windshield broken in the pattern of a web. This indicates that the result of this accident is just another web. The reason I have been stressing Mary is not real is because of this accident. Anthony and Mary meet with this accident while Adam is safe at home. This shows that the accident is only inside the mind. Mary is only inside the mind. The news talks about an accident, but the radio is turned off before further information is heard. 
we can assume that it was a different real-life accident. Adam wakes up the next morning looking very content. He leaves the bedroom and opens the letter with the key inside. He knows it's a symbol of his cheating nature and he is unable to resist. He calls to his wife telling her he plans to go out for the night. But she doesn't answer. He goes to her room but Helen is not there. It's a giant room-sized tarantula cowered against the rear wall. Adam with a resigned look, sighs. The movie ends with a shot of Adam. His expression isn't that of someone who is scared, rather someone who knows he must come to terms with the fact that he is no longer free to give in to temptation. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest and interesting videos.